Hey everybody, welcome to another part of Let's Play Dragon Quest 9. In this part, we're gonna ignore that the queen just got kidnapped and rest in a nice little hot tub. So relaxing. Hey! Where'd the fruit go? Dang it, we do have to go after her. So we have to go this way and head down the well. Music change and head to the store and we'll enter the dungeon in Fort Gleba. The plumble, the plumbed, uh, the plumbed, plumbed, no plumbed, plumber, plumbed depths. So okay, so it's, uh, I still have um, Tim in the back. Got a, now go back. See the misc. You got tactics, follow orders, equipment, and the lineup. So you're gonna front line and back line. I explained that before about front line, you do more damage, and back line, you do less damage, but you less attacked. I kind of meant that to kind of all attack the second person, but okay. Blunt, a lower attack. Thing it didn't hit. Nice little kaboom. I kind of hoping for boob, because that's a better version of bang, and I'll just take my what I normally spell, the spell I normally will use. Hopefully, I forget what level he learns that, but hopefully it's soon. So take down these persicators and the admeter. Persi per persicator. Yeah, I think it. Four hundred twenty. Oh wait, go back, go back. Go across. You can f take this little pathway here. Across over here, you can break up these crates. I'm pretty, and there was nothing in there. Well, that was pointless. So you head up here. This is basically the main room. Of this place it's a tad big. You have now a new color of the dragon enemies. Try to get away from it, but sadly, it kind of cornered me. And we have lizards. Yeah, excuse my horrible pronunciation of every single word. But we have Decon De Diathons. Dethons? Dython. Poisoned? We have poison back in this. Hopefully. I don't know why I always said not to say intoxicate. What did the word say? Like, in. Jeez, Tim's getting badly damaged. Flinches up, bang. Didn't kill any of them. You didn't kill any of them. Environ never mind. And I always why do you always use leaf for healing? I don't know. Probably should stop using doing that. No one bites the dust. Surely he's being attacked. Should this use bang? Follow up with mid heal. Yoshi will have to wait until the other do attacks. Actually, no, you'll actually beat him. Critical hit. So it's nice. Still poisoned. Uh, skloosh. But he'll die before we get the chance to heal. 120 coins. We're gonna heal Tim here. Let's see if we can make it down the steps. Thank you. Head down here and you get a bookshelf. Encyclopedia of Giga Steel Weapons. Metro Iron Ore, Giga Steel Broadsword, Whip, Bar, Claws, and Fan, and an Axe. Now you can talk to him. I am Agius. Hydrator, father of Volupota and much other things. So, life, great king, but his daughter. So he will, he says her her horribleness is the root is because of his neglectedness to take care of his, his daughter. Which I can see that he was he was too focused on being a king to actually do anything about her daughter, his daughter. It would actually make sense. You can open this. And if you had the magic key, remember uh, when we went going, or we, when we were going down 
to trying to find a way into the bathtub, there was a the one treasure chest. Well, there, you, the treasure chest gives you the magic key, and you can now open those purple doors. Now, there's one more key we need, and that's how you can get into these couple of rooms over here. Get that treasure chest. You got a bunch, this is a perfect place for mummies. I think they're the only enemies who spawn in this room. Love a mithril or Check over here. Well, there is no reply to corpse. Zombies and mummies are in this room. Battle of zombies. A ghoul. Ghoul. I always wonder, what's the difference between a ghoul and a zombie? And what's the difference between a ghoul and a ghost? I think a ghoul is a mix of a zombie and a ghost. Because it's kind of dead. But it kind of has the characteristics of a ghost. And the mummy. Mummies! Oh, dang it, four of them. Hopefully this won't take too long. I mean, it's a four-person battle of mummies. And also, this is probably the room if you want to complete the one quest. Where we talked to the one dude before who wanted the mummy bandages. Well, this is probably the place where you wanted it. He was in the guard tower, if you remember him. I doubt you do, because I can barely remember him. Let's okay, finish off Mummy A. One down. Use mid heal on yourself since you're taking a lot of damage. Bang again. Still alive, but surely. They can definitely. They have a lot of HP, and they're very susceptible to melee damage. No one kill. Ooh, one more hit, and he's dead. Good tech leaf. Okay, it really not really good that you take anyone. So probably thieves and martial artists, they don't have a so shield. So they are very open to being attacked. And heal yourself. So it's kinda nice to have the other person who can just use a heal just in case it's needed. I mean, I really don't have to heal Leith a lot, and just a normal heal would do. That's what's good to have that another heal there. You always want the second character, another character who can use heal. Leith in the level 24! Five skill points earned. Natural agility. Actually, keep going here. If you notice, you're probably wondering how her knife skill is already 42. Well, she only has two stats you can gain. So therefore, it's very easy to get her up to completely there. Jilly increased by 20. Diff for this room. Scram. If someone would be kind enough to remind me to come back here later on for that treasure chest in the comments, I would appreciate it much. Because I'm going to forget if no one reminds me. Also, the magic key, there's something back in, I think, um, can't remember the name of it, what town that is, but there's a certain town where you, there was a big purple room, and wow, jeez, what's with all these high battle, high monster battles, just can't seem to catch a break, I mean, first we had the four mummies, then we had the four of these, we had the three, then we had the four, I mean, they're not going easy. We have the one ghoul. That's been it. The one ghoul is the only fight we've had with only one person. We had a couple die mores too. I mean, this has not been easy for us to really go in here. It's been, thank goodness we've grinded a little bit. Or I'd probably be dead by now. Zamel. Ooh, low HP. That uh, please don't take lit, Tim. He can hit Leaf. Actually, didn't hit anyone. Good. Didn't want anyone to be attacked. Mid heal, Tim. Fizzle! Is it affected? Is it affected? Is it affected? Oh. I at least finally hit someone. Yeah. Okay. Level up? Yoshi's on level 24? Five skill points. You can tell he's only get that there. Let's get two there. Let's do equip the sword goes up by twenty and learn defending champion. 
Fam Fencer and Bodyguard. Double. Nice. The shield abilities, you kind of want to have them, but they are not a priority. you rather have your main weapon. If you're going to put your skill points to anything, it better be the main weapon, because that is probably what the best. You can try to go this way, it doesn't go anywhere. A pile of slime defending. That's an interesting sight. Always head down this way. That'd be a good place to hide something. Oh, great. Just stand here and hope he moves. Thank you. As we can head this way. Uh, no, you can't go that way. Climb up this. Or your party then it'll somehow disappear. And then reappear. And now head down this way. This is other big room. There actually is not a lot of rooms in this place, just a bunch of big rooms. Go this way. Go around, hopefully you can avoid monsters. Avoid the mummy by going around them. Break the barrels. It's always nice to just randomly break these barrels so you can find sometimes find things. I mean, ice crystal is something worth something. Did I go this way for nothing? I think I did. I think I completely went this way for nothing. Wow. I really need to get my memory check because my memory of this game is not as good as I thought it was. It, you have to go this way. <laughs> Completely went the wrong way. Go up. Sorry if my commentation, commentary sounds right now sounds more like a GPS than it actually is a let's play, but this is a very straightforward dungeon. If you, you shouldn't need much help with it unless it is in the fact of surviving. That's the only thing you should really need help in this, and then you just go grind as the solution. Ooh, new enemy, Gargoyle? Uh, man... Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce any of these words. A Manguni. Bye, Manguni. There's my pronunciation, and then there's the right pronunciation. Look at, look at, probably the one thing that stands out for me in pronunciation was the Bionicle Heroes. Because the first episode, half the comments I've gotten on it, about my pronunciation. <laughs> I had to laugh at that because like, okay, my pronunciation was bad. I get it. But hey, I already knew my pronunciation of words was horrible. I didn't need to be told, but Jesus, getting all this kitty later, I definitely will be able to make some kit more cat weapons later on. I need some cat ears or something. Oh, this is church chest right here. Mini metal. Now, quickly, I'm gonna get heal if this guy tries to. There you go. If you use the pause menu, they will lose interest in you. Well, hopefully they do. <laughs> uh, I don't like the movement you're doing to Yoshi's side. Oh. Tag creepy. And it's only one. Thank goodness. F nice little full heal there. That's kind of a tip you want to. If you're low on health and you're scared of getting in the fight, and you see someone charge at you, you can magically pause the menu and won't start the fight then. You'll be able to go and heal, rearrange weapons, go and equip weapons. If you have fast enough reflexes, it actually can be that helpful. Magic shield! That's for Tim. Get on your shield, get the magic shield. Increases defense, block chance, magic might, and magic mending. Since Tim is always the one with low HP, since he has low HP, start out with. Someone help! Wow. Someone help me! I demand to be rescued this instant. Okay. So what we're basically do, we're gonna leave. 